Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music and I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to delve into the law of rhythm because I've done a couple of the different universal laws on this YouTube. I think I've done two, but I did multiple videos for them because I just wanted to be clear on my explanation while I was still internalizing it. But for this video we're going to talk about the law of rhythm because this is something I'm really really beginning to notice in so many areas of my life and of everyone's life and I literally wrote like a full list of some of the ways that we can see this law in our lives. So when you think of rhythm for me as a musician, I think of it as like the tempo to music. Like everything has a tempo when you think about sound. If you think about, so in my list I've put things like water, leaves blowing, the wind, traffic, walking, like all of these things move in a rhythm. So when you think about like the sound of water, the sound of leaves, the sound of the wind, the sound of traffic, all of those things hold a rhythm to it because it's sound. But then at the same time, like the speed that the wind blows, like the speed of the traffic, the speed of the water moving, all of that is also a rhythm. So like sound and speed, both hold a rhythm and you can see that in so many things so I also put breathing, snoring, like the um, the speed that the planets move in our solar system that's a rhythm like they move at a set pace and it doesn't really change like there's always a rhythm to it and a specific speed even like our um, speed limits you know like there are specific rhythm for specific types of roads always remains the same speed so even like walking, I don't know if I said that one already, but like all of these things hold a rhythm to them. Even breath, like breath is the most powerful thing because it's what allows us to even exist and be here as human beings. And like that, we have the rhythm to it. And if our breath is too fast or too slow, then it's not um, it's not healthy kind of thing. Like what's the word that it's called? I can't think what it's called when your heart beats too fast or when it skips a beat or whatever like there's a term for it but that um you could see as like an issue or something wrong because it's supposed to be at a certain speed so literally rhythm is everywhere that you look and I never really considered that before until thinking about the law of rhythm but just as things all hold a rhythm so do our emotions so do the experiences in our life. So when you think about how often you feel a negative emotion or how often a thought comes into your mind, like that holds a rhythm and just as high as we can feel, it can also swing to the other end of the pole and be just as low, you know? So like that's a rhythm where we feel extremely high, we can feel extremely low, we can feel kind of like in the middle of the pole where it's slightly high, slightly low, you know? Like it always swings. It never just stays on high and feeling good or just feeling low. It always, always moves because everything is temporary because it is always moving. Just like our cells and atoms and all of these things are always moving, so are our emotions, so are our thoughts. And so are the experiences in our lives and everything that we manifest and attract. It's always changing and moving and shifting, but it's also always kind of like swinging in a rhythm. There's a rhythm to it. So when you think about like success as well, just as successful as you can be, you can also be just as broke and unsuccessful. Like, you know how we always say when people are at the top, like they should be humble and grateful for what they have because it can all be ripped away from them in a second. That's literally the law of rhythm to where they can literally just fall to the other end of the pole and lose it all, you know? So we even see this with certain people where they're like, completely in power and at the top and then everything just crumbles around them and it swings to the other end and they end up like in prison or like something bad happens or they die you know like it fully swings to the other end of the spectrum and that is the law of rhythm at play as well as all of the other laws like karma cause and effect all of those kind of things obviously play a role into what our experience is but once you understand that rhythm is always always there you can stop 
trying to feel good 24 7 like stop expecting yourself to feel good 24 7 and then punishing yourself for not feeling that way because you never are going to it's always going to swing to the other end and that's what's happening constantly like even with motivation just as motivated as you can feel it can also swing to the other end where you lack motivation just as in love as you can feel it can also swing to the other end of just as in fear you can feel so like it's always always moving and swinging and shifting and you're never gonna feel one thing 24 7 you're never gonna think one way 24 7 you're never gonna anything one way 24 7 because the law of rhythm is always 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 at play and I think once you understand that, you can take the pressure off and start to focus on letting yourself, one of the phrases I love to say, letting yourself ride the wave. That's literally how I see it, is it's a wave. So I use that phrase all the time, especially on my social media and stuff. I'm always like, I'm just riding the wave, just learning how to ride the wave. And it's because as the waves literally rise and fall, they do it in a rhythmic pace. It's always rising and always falling and that's what life is. We're always rising and always falling. And sometimes that fall is not gonna be as low as other people. Like one person may end up homeless while another person's low may be that they lose a thousand pounds and they still have another million left over kind of thing. Like it's all um, subjective and all based on perception. So what's low to you may not be low to somebody else, but it's still always moving, you know? So that also means, because it's about perception and everything in life is about perception, it also means that when we take control of the way that we perceive things, when we're conscious about how we're perceiving something and why we're perceiving it that way, and then we're able to work through that to shift our focus to the kind of perception that we want it to be. So shifting it from fear into love, when we consciously take control of that it means that when it's swinging when it starts to swing towards the negative side it's just like a battery like we have the positive and the negative when it starts to swing towards the negative side and certain things happen based on your perception you can control how you feel about that thing which then means you control how much it affects you how much it shifts you off of your rhythm like how much it um like startles you kind of thing and makes you jump you know it's just like when you're riding a wave if you aren't prepared for it to fall then you'll probably fall off of your surfboard and into the water and drown because you're not prepared for the fact that it's gonna go back down but if we're aware of it and we know that it's going to go up but it's also going to come back down. We can make sure that we are taking care of ourselves, first of all, that we're also doing the shadow work. So we're aware of our triggers and aware of our wounds so that things don't affect us in ways that we don't want them to. And then when the effect does happen, because sometimes we can't really control it, when it does happen, we have the tools in place to be able to take care of ourselves and our minds and be able to allow ourselves to swing back upwards again a lot easier than if we were just like splatting around trying not to drown you know <laughs> so when we remember that we have a surfboard that we're not actually gonna drown like we know how to swim we know how to ride the wave when we remember this and we allow ourselves to do this and for the most part the wave is our emotions to be honest but when we learn how to do that then it will be a lot lot easier for us to be able to literally pick ourselves back up and ride that wave with so much less resistance compared to like trying to fight what's happening we'll be able to flow with the experiences that are happening and that also allows us to keep our vibration a lot higher which then allows us to create more wonderful experiences that we actually want instead of experiencing so much trauma so I just realised the like number one key, probably like the main thing for me at the minute is to be able to let myself feel, let myself rise and fall, let myself feel up and down, let myself realise that success, um, like you're starting at the bottom and then you'll rise up to the top and then maybe you'll fall back down, maybe you'll rise, like all of these things are just constantly moving and when we resist it, we try to stay still, we try to like force ourselves back up and that keeps you still that does not for like forcing does not push you up it actually keeps you stuck 
it keeps you still. So we need to be able to literally just ride it, let ourselves flow with the experiences and with the emotions rather than trying to go against them or change them or force them to change, you know, because that just does not work. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And I probably will make a part two to this in the future when I start to internalize it even further and think of even more ways to interpret this. But yeah, I hope that this really helped you for now. Don't forget to check out the description box for all links to my music, social media, my phone number, because I do send daily inspirational and spiritual thoughts every day, as well as my crystal healing jewelry brand that I hand make. And so, so much more is all in the description box below and um what else was I gonna say <laughs> and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week and I will see you in the next episode bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself I don't need you when I fuck you need you when you touch me I just want you to myself